semi-trucks move 70% of all goods in the U.S. So almost everything around us has been on a semi-truck. Transportation is the largest sector of U.S. emissions. So this is just a huge problem. I got really obsessed with this question, why aren't we capturing carbon emissions from vehicle tailpipes? The assumption that you make is it's not being done because it's impossible. So I was just trying to ask questions like, well, what is impossible about this? Remora builds a device that captures the carbon emissions from a semi-truck. I'm Paul Gross, a co-founder at Remora. I grew up in San Francisco. I went to a hippie middle school. I learned a lot about climate change. I remember one class when we just learned about the greenhouse effect. And I remember going out to recess afterward, just thinking, wow, this is the problem that our generation is gonna have to tackle. I did a ton of research, just try to understand, like, why is no one doing mobile carbon capture? And I came across my co-founder, Christina's dissertation online. She was proposing a system that would capture the carbon emissions from a semi-truck. I read it all the way through, and I was like, this is brilliant. Paul found my dissertation online. We had a couple great conversations, and then he wrote me a business plan. I feel so lucky to be doing this with literally the world expert on the technology. I'm Christina Reynolds, co-founder at Remora. So I was born and raised in central Texas, and then when I was eight, we moved to Germany, and all of a sudden, my lifestyle completely changed. We had a little farm in our backyard. We would walk to the grocery store, the meat market, the bakery. There were no plastics in our life like a completely different way of living and that really stuck with me and then when I got to college the more that I read and learned about the climate problem the more motivated I became about doing something big to solve it. Carbon capture refers to the removal of carbon dioxide from a gas stream. Mobile carbon capture is removing CO2 from any mobile source so for us it's heavy-duty trucks. Remora is special because we are the only mobile carbon capture company that exists. The transportation sector is the largest source of U.S. emissions. Trucks in the U.S. create 339 million metric tons of carbon dioxide every year. Remora builds a device that captures the carbon emissions from a semi-truck. It's a big box, mounts on the back, attaches to its tailpipes, and then captures at least 80% of the truck's carbon emissions. The driver offloads the carbon dioxide while they refuel, and then we take that carbon dioxide and sell it to concrete producers or other end users. Paul sells it, I designed it, but we needed someone to build it. We needed someone who knew trucks really well. It's just like a kick-ass mechanical engineer. I'm Eric Harding, co-founder at Remora. I got a cold email from the University of Michigan, a professor that I'm very close with, about a company that wanted to do carbon capture. This was honestly the exact best use of my skill set. Mobile carbon capture isn't as simple as sticking something up the tailpipe. The device is actually fairly complex. Inside the Remora device, first thing we do is recover waste heat. That exhaust comes out hot, and we need that heat later. Then it flows through this packed bed of zeolite where it selectively removes CO2. We apply that heat that we recovered earlier and that releases the captured CO2. And then we compress that and put it in pressure vessels on board. Trucks are extremely hard to decarbonize. There's a huge notion that electrification is going to solve all of our problems. But in reality, what we need is impact now. The problem with making a heavy duty electric vehicle is that battery that you need to move 80,000 pounds is gigantic. Our device is 5,000 pounds, this minimal impact on payload compared to what a battery would be. So we're making something that can fit on vehicles already on the road. I think people assume that the trucking industry isn't interested in climate solutions, and that is not true at all. Trucking companies are taking this really seriously. There's a reason that they're investing in this technology early, that they're helping us scale up, that they're piloting with us. A single Remora device on a semi-truck could capture over 100 tons of CO2 per year, and one device is the equivalent of planting 6,200 trees. 6,200 trees, just one device. If we put this device on every truck in the U.S., that's an astronomical impact.